can't air the quiz show, Toby. Yes, they can. They just cut before the paint pours on Rick. Which is now officially my new favorite mental image. You know what? I wouldn't think it was so funny if it happened to you. <laughs> I would. And speaking of hysterical images... What's Rick doing back at school? Uh -oh. We should go talk to him. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rick. Rick. Look, Radich is going supernova. He's gonna find out who did it. And what? Give them detention? Just saying. Sure it'd be cool if you skipped the rest of the day. Toby, this is the one time I actually want to be at school. associated with this school. Whomever was responsible for the incident this morning should be ashamed of themselves. And let me assure you that the perpetrator or perpetrators responsible for this will be found out and punished severely. If anyone has any information, please speak to me immediately. I assure your confidentiality. Thank you. So, back to 1984. Let's discuss Big so, Brother and the brown that was a big yellow loser. That's really nice, JT. I hope he just gets the hint and leaves. And, uh, you'll have to find a new gamer geek friend. And then when the feathers came down... Oh. Well, cut the guy some slack, Spin. He's not that bad. Yeah, okay. Oh, chicken boy. Oh, chicken boy. I love your wealth of knowledge, and I, I love you. Okay. I'm glad you think this is funny. Did you see the guy's face? Definition of funny. What kind of person does that? One, a genius. And two, if you rat on me. What? No, really, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Look, save the bully crap for someone who won't fight back. And you better do something about it now, before I do. What? Oh, hey. Hey, hey. Save it for the game, guys. But this is your home. I mean, what about Craig and Angela? Craig, Angela, and I can live in a smaller place. It's either that or the dealership. Yeah, but... Yeah, but, you know, if, if there was a way that I could keep both, believe me, I'd be all over it. Look, I gotta head back to the dealership. But we're on for coffee later, right? Yeah. Uh, make yourself at home while I still have one. I know we're not exactly best friends. But I wanted to say that I, I thought the whole paint and feathers job was sickening. It was really childish. I'm, I'm sorry. For hurting Terry.
Knock, knock. Caitlin, you're here. I just got back this morning to find Joey's house for sale and your name on the sign. Look, before you say anything, I'm just helping Joe out as a favor. No strings attached, so you don't need to worry about us. How much is he asking? 400. Why? How does 350 sound? Sounds like 50,000 less than the house is worth. All right, 375. Does Joe know about this? Not yet. And until it's a done deal, I, I prefer he not. So if he asks, just tell him it's an anonymous offer. Sydney, it's been an unexpected pleasure. Jay, listen. Raditz knows, man. About Jimmy? Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's figured it out yet. Dude. Jimmy set the whole thing up perfectly. The way he got all those easy sports questions wrong. Yeah, and made sure uh, Psycho Boy was all alone in the final round. Never would have happened without a man on the inside. How you all know? Good. That's good. Kind of surprised to see you this afternoon. Yeah, I bet you are. Look, I'm really sorry about everything, OK? And if those guys give you any more problems, I got your back. Like you stabbed me in the back. What? You set the whole thing up. Rick, come on. I defended you. Is that real? The whole time you pretended to be. You made me do this. Hi, Emma. Sorry, I kissed you. He's got a gun, okay? Let's go. Don't turn away from me! Glad I found you, Emma. You made my list. Rick, what are you doing? You flirted with me. I thought you liked me, but... That was something else. Just, just put the gun down, okay? Anything else is just gonna make your life worse. It can't get any worse. Believe me, it can. 
I know. We'll figure it all out, okay? Figure this all out. It's too late. from the police. Kate Kerwin. I have a Kate Kerwin here. My stepson, Toby, is... She's clear. Jimmy? You are not gonna believe this, but there's already an offer on the house. Already? <laughs> It's great. Sydney has really come through, and it's 10% above market value. 10%? Oh, go Sydney. I am back in business, and with the extra money. Name a part of Toronto you've always wanted to live in. Joey. Danforth, Beaches. Oh, wait, uh, you just bought a house in Riverdale. I may not be the craftiest guy in the corner, but when my house sells in less than a day on the market. How can I let you lose it? You love that house. Yeah, I do. It's great. Enjoy it. Joey, can't you put your mail pride aside for one second? This is about me raising my own family and running my own business. Caitlin Ryan. Oh, my God. I'm on my way. We have to get to Degrassi now. I'm supposed to know? Look, the guy's a psycho, okay? He's a total psycho. Was he bullied or teased? Always. Every day. Just constantly. And what did your friend do when someone would... Look, he's not my friend. He's a psycho. And he's not my okay. friend. I'll give you some time. I'll be back in a few minutes. You needed help, Emma. Pointed the gun right at me. Honey. Archie? No, I am busy here, if you hadn't noticed. I'm sorry. They want to know if you can get into Rick's email to look for signs. Warning signs. <sighs> of course. Now the groundbreaking 2020 hindsight policy kicks into gear. I have 700 students and a teaching staff that I'm responsible for every day. Don't get on my case because one kid overreacted to some spilled paint. Yeah, one kid who you've personally spoken to twice in the last two days. But did you listen? Of course I did. I bet you can't remember a word he said. This tragedy, Dana, could have been prevented if you Archie. hadn't... Can you two do this later? Emma, they're going to want to speak to all of the witnesses. Can you tell us anything? We had a firearm situation. At least two shots have been fired. There's gunshots in there? My kid's in there. Can I please just make sure he's okay? Can I? Sorry, sir. No, school's please. in lockdown. Okay, I hate not knowing what's going on. I know. It's been like forever. I need to go pee. Maybe it's an alarm. Bomb scare? Niner midterm phobia strikes again. <laughs> Guys. My mom heard there was a shooting.
Hazel, could I see you in the hall? Hazel. It's about Jimmy. No. He was shot. No. He's on his way to the hospital. No. No. I need to go. No, you can't go. I need no, to go. Can't. I need to go. The lockdown will be over soon, okay? We'll get you there. <laughs> Stop in your lockers. Do not loiter around. We recommend not to speak to right reporters. Just relax. Everything is going to be fine. Why did I go along with all this? I said relax. You're alive, aren't you? Yo, Spin. I thought that might have been you. It was Jimmy, man. Jimmy. Okay, they're going to find out. I have no. You have to shut up, okay? He's my best friend. Either outcome, I would say he was your best friend. We might have killed him. We didn't do anything. We did. Craig, are you okay? Jimmy got shot. What? Did you know the victim? Rachel Rhodes? Don't call him victim. He has a name. Was he a target, though? Were you? Did you see the shootings? This has to stop right now. Share, Caitlin. No, I'm not covering this. Well, then step aside and let me. Here's your story for you. Local, insensitive reporter pummeled by famous colleague. You were the gunman's friend. Do you know who he was after or why he did it? I don't know. Did you try and stop him? What was I supposed to do? Let's go. Did the gunman say anything before he died? Died? afternoon's double shooting, one student is dead, and another remains in serious condition. The suspect, a 16-year-old boy whose name cannot be released, was the student found dead at the scene. Toby, maybe account, you should turn that off now. was a quiet child, one who kept much to himself. He had few... People did not get shot at Degrassi. They, they just don't. You talk about Degrassi like it's achieved sainthood. It's a school. That's my point. Look, we just didn't... None of us took Rick's bullying seriously enough. It would be an understatement to say that he was unpopular. Unpopular? How about full-on psycho, certified freak? The guy made us the lead story on the 6 o'clock news. Ashley. He shot Jimmy, Mom. I just, I just, I want an answer. Who was this guy who shot him, if not some psycho? He was Toby's friend.
That afternoon, the suspect returned to school with a handgun. The principal, Daniel Radich, a veteran educator and teacher of Brown for more than 20 years, reportedly asked the accused to take the afternoon off. It was then that the rampage started. For currently unknown reasons, the accused hunted the hall for his teammates. He shot one at the back, and was a best fire for another. I will fly, I will fly, you will see.